Welcome to video number 37 SQL reporting service in this video we'll try to make I mean the configuration I mean uh, for red green and yellow uh, as dynamic uh, using uh, the parameters right we try to make it as parameterized so what we saw in the last report was something like this I'm sorry for chai it was 39 17 and the values were red and if you remember the properties were like oops I need to select this guy alright properties and the action values are like alright like they are champions 33 33 32 to 66 6200 so this is the range was given alright so now we need to make this guy as dynamic so the interesting part is we don't need to worry about this and this because we know it's always gonna start from zero and it's always gonna end as 100 because it is a percentage right but again you can modify your start if you wish alright so <clears throat> if we want to make this thing as dynamic then what can we do we have to take the value instead of here from here we need to I mean we need to make this thing as parameterized so how can we do that the quickest way to do this is the red parameter which I have created nothing fancy with the parameter I'll show you what I have done first of all I have entered the name enter the red as a prompt I've chosen as integer then I went down to the default value and I say alright you'll be a 20 the specific value would be a 20 that's what I said the default value right alright then I said okay this, then I moved on then I said alright next properties let's do the same from the yellow parameter yellow value it's an integer the default value should be 60 looks good then I hit okay next thing let's start configuring so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna come here and I think I have copied somewhere so let's copy this guy and paste in here let's say okay now this guy should be the same as this guy so again paste so basically the problem here and here gets solved let's talk about this guy and this guy should be something like this but we don't want this and instead we want the yellow parameter copy this guy hit OK and let's copy this guy and hit OK 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 so problem 1 and 2 solved 3 and 4 are solved so basically we are going from 0 to 20 20 to 60 and 60 to 100 why we are going like that because I have given them a default values which uh, you can configure it using a query or available values the way you want right so this is pretty cool right so basically uh, using this it still does not affect your system your system remains still pretty good so I've been hiding something so let's check this out so this is the default value which I have given in here so as you can see Mr. Yellow looks pretty happy let's preview the report and it's alright now what if I change the percentage in here so if I make this guy as 33 I'm 33 I'm sorry so this chai product the 39 the happy looking guy yellow turns into the red so what actually happened behind the scene if you see is properties initially the value was 20 in here 20 right this was the value and the same value was in here so what happened is like I changed this value from the front end as 33 so this value got also changed to 33 so the range got changed the range started from 0 to 33 should be red 33 to I don't know how much 60 should be yellow and from 60 to 100 should be 100 now I don't mind using this approach this approach is pretty cool but a lot of time it happens you know uh, users make a mistake and we don't want them to do a mistake right so let's go back and preview again and you can see everything is great but now when I'm talking in terms of mistake and if I go like this 70 so what just happened is 70 and I try to view report everything gets blown away like you totally get an unwanted data which has no meaning at all right because we're dealing with the percentage and we are giving the user for the chance so the best pro uh, approach would be you get the value from a drop down like this this is a drop down you can see right so you can either configure a system you know where you have two parameters for red, red yellow and green I don't know I don't need green because of this percentage I can manually manage that so you have to configure in such a way a lot of times I've seen like you know the people what they do is they 
make a mess in here and in here and in here and here because of which your data system breaks so even if you use a drop down make sure you know the range of red should not overlap the range of yellow in order to make the system sustainable and uh, systematic and plus uh, another thing to notice is like you know there should not be any gap like if I'm going for red for red if I'm going like hey for red I'm going from 0 to 30 and in my yellow drop down I have no start from 30 but instead I have a start from 33 to 60 I mean it depends how you configure your drop down sometimes it happens right so <clears throat> it's a problem right so you have to be careful because the moment you leave this guy as 30 it's gonna pick up this guy from 33 let's say suppose imagine if it happens because in your yellow you don't have an option so it will mess mess up the whole system or you can uh, add any you know I'm sorry or you can add any uh, the some technical formula using which you can configure this whole thing so I made one uh, one one formula and using which you can just provide a parameter for red and I have based on which I'm making some as assumption and mathematical calculation and I calculate my values alright so first of all uh, I will show you now as you can see over here the number uh, which number I can show you 17 let's try 17 as you saw when the percentage was at 20 or 33 17 was red but when I reduce the percentage as 10 the mr. 17 became very happy at the very same time if I make this guy as 20 mr. 17 becomes unhappy and this is not the change for red it applies the same for yellow and green overall the process right so how do we uh, how do I configure the system so let's have a look and we will look at the properties for this guy and as you can see this guy and this guy is very simple because you know it's a percentage it is always going to start from zero and it's always going to end at hundred so it doesn't matter if you keep it like this or you keep it hundred it's good all good all right <clears throat> so next thing what we are looking in here is an expression for this guy so I want to define a range for the red which I'm accepting from the UI which I just saw so what is the equation there there's nothing much I'm just accepting the value from the red and I'm saying I want the red from 0 to 20 one second I guess so when I say 20 I get the records for 20 but behind the scene the values are flowing like this this guy has figured out as 0 to 20 and this guy is from 20 to something which we don't know yet right so this problem and this problem is resolved but this and this is very important both are the same values but there's a formula in there which I have applied the formula is um, pretty straightforward it's not much uh, that scary the formula is what I'm doing is I'm trying to subtract think of uh, as a percentage okay or maybe I'll give you a drive grammatic view to you so as we all know on the left hand side red we know how much we are utilizing for red but we are not sure how much to utilize for yellow and how much to utilize for green right so I have created an equation what is going on select I am not able to select rectangular selection control X boom okay so get the pen tool so we need to figure out you know uh, the separation this guy is gonna use some level of percentage and this guy is also gonna use some level of percentage so what this formula does is 100 minus the value of red so 100 let's assume only for 20 now for now 20 so 100 minus 20 is 80 correct now what I'm doing is I want to distribute 80 across these two because I know from here to here it's 100 so I need to take care of these guys now these guys are at 80 percent so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this guy as 40 and 40 I'm gonna divide I don't want you know yellow and green to be you know separated I try to make them as equal as possible as the default right so what my equation does is 100 minus red which is in our case is 80 right now correct 
so let's go back to the diagram so this is 80 again I need to divide into the yellow and green so I'm making again as a half so you can see the equation divide by 2 so now both yellow and green are sharing the same 40 40 I'm looking at this guy this is 40 okay but next thing is I need to figure out this point this is unknown to me I know this value is 20 this range is known to me it is from 0 to 20 because I have specified in the parameter that I want to go from 0 to 20 but I'm not sure where the yellow ends so the answer to this question is this 20 plus this 40 will give you 60 correct and that 60 would be this point and from 60 to max would be your green so this problem is resolved and this problem is also resolved so that's what I did in the end plus I'm adding the value of red I know this might be sound little confusing right now but I will show you a demo and I will calculate the values for you right if you understand this then it's very awesome alright and the same value the formula which I'm using here it needs to be moved over here right so this is pretty simple right alright so let's preview this and let's take the value our positive case as 20 and I'll say I'll view report and as you can see when I say 20 and all of you know if you're watching this series this 125 mr. 125 is a highest record in this so if I take the 20% out of it it will result me into the 25 so the values in unit of stock from 0 to 25 will be red so if I check mr. 22 it's red mr. 24 is red again but if you look at 29 I'm sorry are you able to see 29 which is right beneath 39 is yellow so that proves the equation now the problem mystery for you know the red is solved what about the yellow one so like I said where's my calculator 125 is the highest dude all right so I have figured out the values of unit of stock will go from 0 to 25 and now this guy is at 60 right so in the calculator I need to make a percentage of 60 so into point 60 will give me 75 so 25 to 75 all of them would be in yellow so let's search for the values 25 is 53 is good all right all right 61 is also good all right all right can you see why I can't see all right 76 is all right green because just calculated right so that's why green I need to find mr. 74 or something below that is it the case I'm having all right uh, this is not good 65 21 I don't have a good values with me looks like I'm having a bad day but actually you got my point right I mean so based on the calculation it puts the 76 into the right spot and value below that you know into the yellow spot so that uh, fixes the equation now let's do the final case and wrap this thing up what if I say as 33 percent if I do the 33 percent then I hope you remember we have something in here the values from 0 to 41 will be you know 41.25 and after that I have used the same logic I have tried to distribute the values for you know uh, yellow and green as the same so again if I open my calculator let me execute first so like I said the values uh, below 41 is red right and the values below 42 is yellow and how that happened so 125 and if you make the percentage of 33 okay so it will give you 41.25 that's a correct answer right so now how does that fit in this situation if you look at that now we have a situation of 30 percent right so I know 0 to 30 is my occupied range but I don't know this number where the yellow ends so if you apply the math so now 100 minus 30 is 75 correct and let's divide 75 by 2 if I divide 75 by 2 I'll get around 
why not calculate I'm pretty bad at math 75 divided by 2 I'll get something around 33 point something whoops 37 all right so 37 is something are you sure 75 divided by 2 is 37 absolutely so this is 37 which is a right answer all right and this is also a 37 but if I need to figure out this point you know what I need to do is 37 plus 30 which will bring me a 67 and so I got the range from 30 to 67 so let's check in Visual Studio if we get any record below 67 come on 62 is good 67 I'm not 67 62 is good anybody close to 71 or something I'm not sure have I done this all right 67 all right so 67 is my percentage and 125 into uh, 0. Point, I'm sorry 125 into 0.67 will give me the value 83.75 so anything goes above 83 or 84 should be green so as you can see Mr. 86 is green what else what else where is the data mm, I'm not finding a good data 76 is okay it is within the range that's why it's yellow mm, 79 is again is pretty close to 84 but it's not yet there so 85 yes 85 you can see the moment it turns 85 it turns out to be green where's the 85 all right so 85 is there 86 is there so this is it right so this formula you know uh, which I have made uh, you need to remember because I have made this formula based on the visual studios default I mean the default behavior alright so I hope this video gives you an idea if you I'm pretty sure this is a little bit confusing but if you try this thing and if you compare the values against the calculator it will turn out to be correct values so I hope this video gives you an idea how this works if you like this video or if this video helps you in some way please subscribe to my channel and share this videos with your friends thank you for watching this video good night and take care